Hallo und einen wunderschönen guten Abend von ähm, Chateau de Colombe hier in saint Baudel. Ähm, Küchenrenovierung geht weiter. Bonsoir à tous, bienvenue à Jeune Petit Chateau de Colombe in saint Baudel. And now for English speaking friends from around the world, um, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. Kitchen renovation uh, is continuing and um, Good Lord, it's painful. <laughs> it is. As every person can attest that ever has done a kitchen renovation, and I, as I said, this is our third one together. Mm -hmm. Before that, I had three more. So uh, I hope this is my last kitchen renovation. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Have a look. Many of you have kind of uh, mentioned that I need to really um, duck down to get under those doors. Um, Several doors, actually, in the well, chateau. Well, you know, above here, which was the servant's wing, mm. um, they didn't care. And most probably the people who were servants, maybe they were too little or it didn't matter. But um, I hit my head so hard because it was so low the the uh, passage to the doorway to the uh, yeah, kitchen or the rear kitchen 
Um, Stuart saw me go down, literally. Yeah. Twice. Yeah, you blacked out and went down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, once it was the dogs, because um, they were very cute and I was talking to them and I did not oh, pay the attention. the distraction, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other time, I just, it was early in the morning, the sun was hitting my, my face. So, but... So we said this, this cannot, <laughs> I can't do this. And my yeah. father. Yes, yeah. So when we closed, took possession of the chateau and went back to the United States, uh, I think two days later, my father did exactly the same thing, mm -hmm. um, like father, like son. So, um, or yes, um, he went through and he doesn't have much hair. So he actually sculpted himself. So there was an like this wide, like an inch and uh, was like three centimeters, was and at quite a length, he just took his his skin off. So oh. when we came back two weeks later, mm. uh, it was still all scab. So yeah. it, <laughs> I'm not laughing at it. It's just it is so uh, stupid. Um, and so we we decided those doors need to come up. And and yes, with a pantry. I mean, how do you how do you otherwise get in it, right? Right, the Hobbit door. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so after after we finished after we finished the uh, uh, making the, the the doorway taller into the back kitchen, uh, as you saw in the video, we had problems with electrical. Oh yeah, it was right there, <laughs> right over the doorway, right. Well, yes. Yeah. So the good thing is, is that we have John to help us out. And so John came in and he took care of getting that electrical. So it went over the new height of the doorway. Yeah. So we looked at this and, and thought, oh, really? <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's easy. So we did actually had to run some errands and we came back and everything was fixed. All done. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yay us. And yay John. So thank you, John. <laughs> it was great. Um, and the, the, the funniest thing was that we came back and I, I still, uh, I'm still just, you know, putting my hat down because it, I, it, eight months, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so John changed the electrical, so it's no way in the way. And because it wasn't there, it's one of those things you don't actually notice. You only notice if it is there. Right. So that is one of those jobs that electricians, plumbers, um, you only see it if it's wrong. So <laughs> it's one of those many jobs. So now that we have the doors raised up high enough that we can walk through them, the next thing we needed to do was to get the doors and the frames back so we can put them back in. Yes, so restoring and um, painting. Yeah, sanding and painting right. and uh, and being supervised by the dogs. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that is actually a lot of fun.
So we ended up uh, raising the door to the pantry by what? 30 centimeters? Well, 34, it's like what? Yeah, a little over a foot, 12, 13, inch, 14 inches. Almost 13 and a half inches. Yeah. So it's, it's a bit. It is. It's basically this much about, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. I have a thick head. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's lovely. And so of course now we have this big space underneath. The dogs think it's wonderful. Sure. So they're going in and out, uh, um, which uh, <laughs> is right. that way. <laughs> no, it's not. So what we will do is uh, not until we get the flooring in and we know exactly how how much space we have for yep. the door. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll extend the bottoms of the door and the frames. Uh, yes. Well. Yes. We will. That means Stuart will. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will extend the bottom of the doors and the frames. Yes. Because I'm the person who will be who will be cutting and cutting and it's still too short. Yes. So that's all Stuart. Yes. And so the other thing that that uh, went on this past week was well, first of all, we did finally get some scaffolding. Oh, we did. Yes. We did. Yes, which we had used in the columns that we showed on Wednesday. Yes, yeah. yes, and it's uh, what we needed to do to these kitchen walls. And let me just say this one thing. Mm -hmm. Normally you put plaster in a bucket and you mix it up and you do texture. Well, whoever did this added sand and that gives a reaction. So it's almost like land rendering uh, and have a look. Hello. Hello. I brought my new best friend. I'm glad your new best friend fits through the door. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wasn't sure. You know what this means. Walls. Oh my goodness. Because we don't have to deal with the ceilings. Right. Just walls. Um, do nice edges and um, prep the walls for paint. Yeah, so much better than having to do that on a ladder now. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let me close the door because it is zero degrees. So it is beautiful sunshine, but it is so cold. So there. Just gonna put a little paint on here because I need to see how this is working with. Oops, I'm in the. Of course, I'm in the light. Uh, always in the way. Um, 
how this works with the darker spots if there's too much grease. So I'm having a test area here painted. And the reason the camera is shaking is because I'm standing on the scaffolding. There's not a, bit, not a lot of movement, but there is a little bit of movement. So that's what you're seeing there. I apologize. And of course, once we actually paint this, it's not going to be painted with uh, a brush. It's going to be painted with rollers. Uh, you get a, a bit more of an even coat. And this also is a little test to see if we both still are in love with Little Green Company's slacked lime, which I'm having right here. It should, of course, be like this. Uh, it's it's uh, a, a color that is natural, very organic. And um, if you look at this right now from a distance, it looks like it is bright, stark white, which it is not. Then you hold actually like Arctic, I mean, true bright white next to it. And it's very clear that this is not a white paint. But it is always nice to have a little patch that you can look at and, and to make sure that, let me move. So that's the difference from the corner of the top of the fireplace uh, to how it used to be. So, and of course I'm still in the way and I cannot really get out of the way because the light is behind me. Oh, good Lord, there you go. It's quite a stark difference. Um, we'll see what Stuart's gonna think. Well, no, this is not a break, really. <laughs> I am uh, up here. This is the side of the fireplace, which I sand in. It looks really dirty here, but there, when they did the texture, whoever did this, the painter or plaster, here they couldn't do much. So this is actually very mild, very low. So this is as much as I need to take off. But so on this ledge here, I hope you can see this. Maybe not. Let me move the camera a little. And I can't see this because I'm standing on a on scaffolding. So I am now removing about, I don't know, how many decades or more of cooking grease that settles. And let's be honest, I mean, there might be those amongst us who say, oh, oh no, 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 I would have cleaned that every like, week or so or every month. And that's fair, I wouldn't. So, this is stone, this is solid carved limestone that the entire fireplace is resting on. Actually, I am just going to drop this. I have to vacuum anyways down there. Now, the difference is that there was no extractor or fan here. So, that means the grease that is in the air when you cook, uh, well, it's kind of settling everywhere. And that's normal. That was normal for kitchens for a long time. The exhausts that were there, or they weren't even exhausts, but the chimneys were there to get the uh, carbon monoxide and, and fumes out of the kitchen. But not the grease. The grease was just here and it was part of daily life. So it's not like there's anything wrong with this or is this just bad? It just is. It's uh, the life that was lived. And I think it's just marvelous that we have this. I'm just trying to clean this out. We are not going to paint this or anything. This is going to stay exactly what it is now. Just the stone. But eventually I will go over this one more time with a brush, uh, a wire brush, so that this is nice and clean. But uh, that's it. And then it stays in this um, state 
Uh, we'll call the answer. I'm buried somewhere. Oh my. Do you see that? Do you see this? Oh yeah. Good lord. Gonna say nothing. Let me wash that out a bit, maybe. So this is a natural degreaser. Right on there. This is I don't know, 30, 40 years of grease. What do you think? Yeah. About? Wow. Anyone wonders when cleaning the tiles because for another few days I'll still cook there. And uh, <laughs> I want to cook with that splatter on the wall. So here, this is to degrease them. I'm going to wash all the walls like this, just with water, just to get all the sanding dust off, so we don't get that into the paint. Right. So, hey, well, it's quite a day. Uh, this needs to dry. If I have more energy, I'm going to do more in a little bit. Okay.
So the, the, the tool we have um, is almost like pumice stone. It's mm -hmm. really, really hard. And lo and behold, <laughs> after two walls, the one behind us above the fireplace left and right, mm -hmm. and the one to the back of the chateau, I actually this morning needed to go and get a new... <laughs> The, this stuff that's on this wall, these walls, is so much harder. It wore it out. <laughs> wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So, uh, what we did? Yes. We are finished. Yes. And so we're ready to prime the walls. Mm -hmm. Actually, not quite. We still have across from us. There's a little bit of setting left, but just right. a little bit. We are almost ready to prime the walls. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't wait. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's no dust and painting. <laughs> right. And hopefully we will hear about the flooring arriving Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Soon. Yes. On that note. Right. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. And if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and recommend us to your, your families and friends. It would help us a lot. See you on Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.